and welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Tonight, our contenders will answer questions on the greatest mathematician of all time. The women who changed the face of the Navy, the band who've had more members than hit songs, and the letters of the early Christians. Four subjects, four contenders who are controlled by the clock. They get two minutes for those subjects and two and a half minutes for their general knowledge. And they have no teammates and there's no conferring allowed and all that. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Mick Wright. Your occupation? Journalist. And your chosen subject? Marquis Smith and the Fall. The post-punk rock band from Manchester. Two minutes on them starting now. The Fall took their name from the title of a novel written by a Nobel Prize winning author. Which author? Albert Camus. Yes, the town in Greater Manchester where the band was formed in 1976 is one of four place names to feature on the cover of The Fall's live album Total's Turns. Which town is it? Presswich. Yep. Which song is the opening track on The Fall's debut full-length album Live at the Witch Trials? Uh, like to blow. Frightened. What is the title of The Fall's first EP released in 1978? It contains the title track along with the songs Psycho Mafia and Repetition. Bingo Masters Breakout. Yep. What was the name of the independent label at Miles Copeland's Illegal Records on which the band's debut EP, Bingo Masters Breakout, was released? Step forward. Yep. Who was the bass guitarist with The Fall between 1979 and 98? Steve Hanley. Yes, the American-born guitarist Laura Elise Salinger married Mark E. Smith in 1983 and joined The Fall in the same year. By what name is she better known? Brick Smith. Yep. Which Fall album was the first to be recorded after the return of founding member Martin Brammer when Bricks left the band and divorced Smith? Extricate. Yep. What is the title of the play written by Smith about the mysteries surrounding the death of Pope John Paul I? It shares its title with a 1986 song that became the band's second UK Top 75 hit. Hey, Luciani. Yep. On the album Extricate, Charlotte Bill plays the flute and which other wind instrument? Clarinet. The oboe. Which song was covered by The Fall and released as a single in 1988 when it reached number 35 in the UK charts? It was originally recorded by The Kinks. Victoria. Yep. The colourful cover of a 1980 album by The Fall was created by Smith's sister, Suzanne. What's the album called? Uh, grotesque After the Gram. Yes. Who played both guitar and bass in The Fall and went on to present shows on BBC Radio 6 Music? Mark Riley. Yep. At which rock club in New York City did the drummer Carl Burns attack Smith on stage during a full concert, moments after Smith had appeared to antagonise him? Pass. What is the title of The Fall's final studio album released in 2017, Before Smith's Death? New facts emerge. Yes. The Fall's first UK top 40 hit single was a cover of an R. Dean Taylor song that reached number 30 in May 1987. Which song? There's a Ghost in My House. Is correct. Your one pass, the uh, rock club in New York City where Burns attacked Smith, was Brownies. Uh. You have scored 13 points. Our next contender, please. And your name is uh, Tom Kappelman. Your occupation? A software engineer. And your chosen subject? Uh, the letters of the New Testament. In two minutes, the writings of the early Christians, starting now. In the first epistle to Timothy, Paul encourages him to remain in a Greek city to continue his ministry. What city? Ephesus. Yep. In the third chapter of the Epistle to the Hebrews, Jesus is said to be greater than an Old Testament figure who is described as being faithful as a servant in all God's house. Who was he? Moses. Yep. Which church does Paul describe as a model to all the believers in Macedonia and Achaia? Uh, Philippi. Thessalonica. According to the beginning of the second epistle to the Thessalonians, it was sent by Paul, Timothy and which other person? Silas. Yes. An Israelite prophet mentioned in the epistle of James prayed that rain would not fall and there was no rain for three and a half years. Who was he? Elijah. Yes. In his advice to the elders in his first epistle, Peter compares the devil to a creature looking for someone to devour. What creature? Lion. Yep. When the apostle Paul writes, I long to see you in order that I might have a harvest among you, he's addressing Christians in which city? Corinth. Rome. According to the fifth chapter of Paul's epistle to the church at Ephesus, husbands and wives should be mutually subject to whom? Each other. Yes. Who describes false teachers as clouds without rain blown along by the wind, autumn trees without fruit and uprooted, twice dead, and wandering stars for whom blackest darkness has been reserved forever? 
Peter? Jude. In his epistle to the Galatians, Paul speaks of his return with Barnabas to a city he'd left 14 years previously. Which city? Jerusalem. Yes. In which epistle does Paul appeal to a church leader to welcome back only Simus, who is widely thought to be a runaway slave? Philemon. Yes. In the second epistle to the Corinthians, one of Paul's companions collects gifts for the Jerusalem church from Christians at Macedonia and Corinth. Who is he? Titus? Yes. In the opening chapter of the first epistle of John, the writer reminds us that if we claim to be without sin, we deceive whom? Ourselves. Yes. Which church does Paul describe as his partners in the cause of the gospel and his joy and crown? Philippi. Yes. Paul promises to send Timothy to the Philippians and to return to them a co-worker and fellow soldier who's recently been very ill. What's his name? Epaphroditus. Yes. How many years does Peter say a day is like with the Lord when he talks about divine patience in his second epistle? A thousand years. Yeah, a thousand years is exactly right. Tom, you have no passes. You've scored 13 points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Mary Breading. Your occupation? Uh, Finance Secretary. And your chosen subject? Uh, the History of the Reigns. Otherwise known as the Women's Royal Navy Service. Two minutes starting now. Who was appointed as the first director of the Women's Royal Naval Service in 1917? Um, Dame Catherine Furze. Yes. The WRNS was brought under the legislation known as the NDA in 1977 to regulate cases of misconduct. What does NDA stand for? Naval Discipline Act. Yes. What was the equivalent Royal Navy rank of Furs in her role as the director of the WRNS? Um, she was an admiral. Rear admiral. <laughs> the original standard uniform kit issued to Wrens included an overcoat, jacket, skirts, shirts and a tie. What colour was the tie? Uh, navy blue. Black. What nickname was given to Wrens who trained at the Royal Naval College as special duties linguists? It referenced their officer, Freddie Marshall. Pass. Which ship was adopted as the WRNS ship in January 1974 as a replacement for HMS Wren? The Aguila. No, the Amazon. On which island were the headquarters of the Mediterranean Division established during the First World War? Malta. Yes. Which of the five original departments was the assistant director, Dr Dorothy Hare, appointed to take charge of in 1918? Telegraphy? Medical department. June Foster was an acting third officer with Lord Louis Mountbatten when he became the last viceroy in India and was the only member of the WRNS to gain which medal? Uh, the Indian Medal. The Indian Independence Medal. Who edited The Wren, the magazine of the Association of Wrens, formed at the end of the First World War and became the second director of the service in 1939? Uh, Vera Matthews. Yes. What was the name of the merchant ship that was torpedoed on its way to Gibraltar in August 1941 with more than 20 wrens on board? Uh, Britannia. Aguila. What job title was given to the wrens who worked on the covert operation Outward, whose tasks included filling balloons with gas that would burst into flames on impact in enemy territory? Pass. Who became the first rating to reach the highest rank in the service when she was made the director in 1950? She had joined as a steward in 1939. Um, Mary Lloyd. Yes, Dame Mary Lloyd. You had two passes, Mary. That job title given to the wrens who worked in filling up the balloons with gas and all that, boom defence wrens. And the nickname given to the wrens who trained at the College of Special Duty Linguists under Freddie Marshall, they were known as Freddie's Fairies. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Mary, two passes, you've scored five points. Thank you. And our final contender, please. Pat Lucas. Your occupation? Retired teacher. And your chosen subject? Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton, a brilliant mathematician, astronomer, theologian, author, physicist, you name it. Two minutes starting now. In which Lincolnshire village was Newton born on Christmas Day, 1642? It's where he said to have seen the apple fall when he returned there in 65. Wolfsthorpe. 
Yes, in what work that was published in three volumes in 1687 did Newton's three laws of motion first appear? The Principia. Yes. What word did Newton use to describe rates of change in his theory of differential calculus? Fluxions. Yep. Which Dutch astronomer was a principal proponent of the wave theory of light which brought him into conflict with Newton over the theory of colours? Christian Huygens. Yes. Which philosopher's ideas of cosmology based on celestial vortices were challenged by Newton's unifying theories of gravitation? René Descartes. Yes. What was the name of Newton's niece who acted as his housekeeper in London during the early 18th century? Catherine Barton. Yep. Of what national institution was Newton named warden in 1696 and later served as the master? The Mint. Yep. What six-word phrase that Newton used in a letter to his arch-rival Robert Hooke described how his own discovery of scientific principles had built on the works of others? Standing on the shoulders of giants. Exactly. Which monarch conferred a knighthood on Newton in 1705? Queen Anne. Yep. Newton proposed a scale of temperatures when he was investigating the law of cooling. What did he prescribe as being equivalent to 34 degrees of heat on this scale? Body temperature. The boiling point of water. What simple item did Newton use to demonstrate that white light is made up of a range of spectral colours? A prism. Yep. Which German mathematician had a bitter dispute with Newton about who had first formulated the differential and integral calculus? Gottfried von Leibniz. Yes. Newton's unorthodox religious belief centred on the teachings of a 4th century churchman who argued against the doctrine of the Trinity and who was condemned as a heretic. What was the churchman's name? Pass. What is the name of the secretary of the Royal Society who corresponded with Newton about the design of Newton's new reflecting telescope? Henry Oldenburg. Yes. What was the nationality of the young mathematician Nicolas Fatio de Durier who lodged with Newton in London and briefly became his greatest friend and champion? Swiss. He was indeed Swiss. You had one pass. The uh, churchman who argued against the doctrine of the Trinity was Arius. Thank you. you have scored, Pat, 13 points. Thank you. So now let us invite all our contenders back into the studio for the first time together. <laughs> and let's move on to the general knowledge round now. Two and a half minutes of questions this time, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the person with the fewer passes is the winner, and if they're tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. And remember, the contenders do not know at this stage what each other have scored so far. So, for everyone at home, let's have a look at all the scores. As always, we start with the contender with the lower score, so that is Mary. And uh, you start off from a fairly low base, but you've got two and a half minutes of general knowledge to make up for it. You have five points so far. Here we go. General knowledge. What do the letters VAT stand for in the world of commerce? Value added to tax. Yep. The River Weir flows for its entire length through what historic county? Um, Durham. Yes. Who in the New Testament lived in the desert on locusts and honey, wore a hair shirt and preached the coming of the Messiah? John the Baptist. Yes. What phrase that originated in America describes an unacknowledged barrier within an organisation that restricts upward mobility, especially for women? Glass ceiling. Yes. Chopin was a noted performer on an instrument for which he wrote most of his compositions. What instrument? Piano. Yep. Which Radio 1 DJ was with the station from when it opened in 1967 until his sudden death in 2004? Um, Jimmy Young? John Peel. The name of what rich stew that contains meat and vegetables in a thickened sauce comes from the French for to restore the appetite? Casserole. Ragu. What name of Aztec origin is the more common name for the prairie wolf of North America? Cougar. Coyote. The ancient region of Dacia lay principally in what modern day country? Greece. Romania. Which future American president married Martha Dandridge, the widow of Daniel Park Custis, on the 6th of January 1759? George Washington. Yes. Which writer, whose novels include I, Claudius and Claudius the God, was born in London in 1895? Robert Graves. Yes. With which soul singer did Janet Jackson have a number two UK hit in 1992 with The Best Things in Life Are Free? Bobby Brown. Luther Vandross. The mineral galena is a sulphide of a metal and is its commonest ore. What metal? 
iron. Lead. Which character, created by the writer P.L. Travers in the 1930s, is blown by the east wind to the Banks house at number 17 Cherry Tree Lane? Mary Poppins. Yes. The American doctor William Matthias Skoll, who was born in 1882, was especially concerned with the care of what part of the body? Eyes. Feet. Larry the Cat, whose official title is Chief Mouser, moved into a house in which famous street in February 2011? Downing Street. Yes. Which football club has been Italy's top division Serie A champions the most times? Juventus. Yep. In a 1966 multi-award winning film, Robert Shaw plays Henry VIII with Orson Welles as Cardinal Wolsey and Leo McKern as Thomas Cromwell. Which film? A Man for All Seasons. Yes. Which Russian-born French artist painted white crucifixion and yellow crucifixion during the Nazi persecution of the Jews? They show Christ wearing Jewish prayer garments. Kadinsky. Chagall. No passes, Mary. You've now got 16 points. <laughs> and next up is Mick. Come and join us again. And uh, you start out with uh, 13 points, Mick. The score to beat at the moment is... 16. Two and a half minutes for your general knowledge. Here we go. Carriage, grandfather and cuckoo are types of what domestic item? Clock. Yep. What alternative name for the woodchuck, a giant member of the squirrel family, is associated with a tradition celebrated on the 2nd of February in America? Groundhog. Yes. Who plays Stephanie Smith, the mother of the character played by Eminem, in his debut movie, Eight Mile? Kim Basinger. Yep. What evergreen herb that grows wild in the Mediterranean area has pungent needle-shaped leaves that are commonly used with roast meat, especially lamb? Rosemary. Yes. Yes, whose shrine are Chaucer's pilgrims going to visit in the Canterbury Tales? Uh, pass. Portobello is a seaside suburb of which Scottish city? Dundee. Edinburgh. Which grime artist was named British male solo artist at the 2018 Brit Awards and won the Album of the Year Award for his debut album, Gang Signs and Prayer? Stormzy. Yep. The axolotl from Mexico and the mud puppy from North America belong to what group of lizard-like tailed amphibians? Squid. Salamander. The carrot is a measure of the fineness or purity of gold. How many carrots is pure gold? Uh, 24. Yes. Which celebrated flagship ran aground off Haiti and was lost on the night of the 24th to the 25th of December, 1492? Uh, pass. In 2017, what reality television contest was run by Georgia Toff Toffolo from the television series Made in Chelsea? Uh, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Yes. The flag of a Canadian province features the cross of St Andrew with the colours reversed and a shield with a red lion rampant at its centre based on the Royal Arms of Scotland. Which province? Uh, Newfoundland. Nova Scotia. What slow Cuban song and dance takes its name from the island's capital? There's a famous example in Bizet's Carmen. Uh, uh, Cuba. Uh. Habanera. Whose 2017 autobiography is entitled Only Fools and Stories? Uh, John, uh, no. No, oh. David Jason. Oh, okay. What are interpreted to predict the future in the practice of oniromancy? Tea leaves. Dreams. What title is held by the spiritual leader of Tibetan Buddhism? He was also the country's temporal ruler till the Chinese invasion of 1959. The Dalai Lama. Yes. In which American state is a prestigious horse race established in 1875 run at Churchill Downs in Louisville on the first Saturday in May? Kentucky. Yes. What did the Prime Minister Harold Macmillan say is blowing through this continent in a 1960 speech in South Africa? An ill wind. A wind of change. Oh. The name of an animal is used in finance to describe a stock market where the old Overall value is falling. What animal? Bull. Ah, the other way around. It's the bear. <laughs> you had two passes. That um, flagship that sunk in 1492, Santa Maria. And the shrine was that of St Thomas a Becket. You had a total of 22 points. <laughs> and next up, Tom. And, uh, Tom, you also start out with 13 points. The score to beat is now 22 points. Here we go. What is the name of the hard white dentine that makes up the tusks of elephants? Ivory. Yep. Who plays the private detective, Eddie Valiant, in the 1988 film Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Pass. 
What branch of physics concerned with the properties of sound has a name that comes from the Greek for to hear? It's also known as sonics. Audiology. Acoustics. What is the name of the anti-establishment party co-founded by the actor and comedian Beppe Grillo in 2009? It gained the most votes in the March 2018 Italian general election. Pass. Who read her poem On the Pulse of Morning at Bill Clinton's inauguration as American president in 1993? Pass. What name that comes from the Latin for plowshare or small knife is given to the curved one-edged sword particularly associated with pirates? Cutlass. Yes. In which North African country is Leptis Magna, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that contains some of the finest Roman architectural remains in the world? Libya. Yes. Which television soap opera modelled on Dallas and set in Denver, Colorado, had the working title Oil? Pass. What is indicated by two crossed swords, usually followed by a date, on an Ordnance Survey map? A battle. Yes. What was the name of the gladiator who led an army of slaves in a war against the Romans from 73 to 71 BC? Spartacus. Yes. In 1964, in a performance work called Cut Peace, a Japanese-American artist and peace activist knelt passively on stage and invited members of the audience to cut off her clothes with a pair of scissors. What's her name? Yoko Ono. Yep. The marble statue of Venus in the Ufutsi Gallery that dates from around the first century BC and has a Greek inscription on its base is named after which Florentine family? Family. And Medici. Medici, yes. Who do Real Madrid play at least twice a season in a football match known as El Clasico? Barcelona. Yes. What do the letters S T O L stand for in the field of aviation? Don't know. Pass. What member of the whale family has a scientific name meaning single tooth, single horn? Noah. Yep. In Greek mythology, the winged horse Pegasus sprang from the blood of one of the Gorgons after Perseus had cut off her head. Which Gorgon? Uh, Medusa. Yes. Who last topped the UK singles chart as a solo artist in 1983 with Baby Jane? Pass. What name is given to a shot of espresso diluted with at least an equal amount of boiling water? Uh, latte. Americano. Who wrote the work generally known as the Battle Symphony to celebrate the victory of Arthur Wellesley, later the Duke of Wellington, over Napoleon at Vittoria in 1813? Uh, Holst. Beethoven. You have six passes. Rod Stewart was the fellow who last topped the UK singles chart with Baby Jane. STOL stands for Short Takeoff and Landing. A dynasty uh, originally had the working title Oil. Maya Angelou read her poem at Bill Clinton's inauguration. That anti establishment party that won the election in Italy, the Five Star Movement. And Bob Hoskins plays Eddie Valiant in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. You have a total time of 23 points. <laughs> and finally into the chair, Pat. And, uh, Pat, you also start out with 13 points. But now the score to beat is 23. Let's see if you can do that and get into the semi-finals. Here we go. Wimbledon is the only one of the four Grand Slam tennis tournaments played on what surface? Grass. Yep. Which song became a number one hit for Cliff Richard for a second time in 1986, 27 years after it had previously reached that position? Summer holiday. Living Doll. What biblical structure that was intended to reach heaven so angered God that he made the builders speak different languages so they became unintelligible to each other? The Tower of Babel. Yes. Who starred as James Shelley, an idle and anti-establishment graduate who shirked work in the television series Shelley? Hugh Bennett. Hal Bennett, yeah. The Central Criminal Court in London is commonly known by the name of the street where it stands. What is it? Oh, Bailey? Yep. Which former French colony on the west coast of Africa joined the British Commonwealth in 1995? Equatorial Guinea. Cameroon. Which Prime Minister had nicknames that include the Welsh Wizard and the Goat? David Lloyd George. Yes. Whose book about the 2016 American presidential election campaign is entitled What Happened? Barack Obama. Hillary Clinton. In the 1950 comedy Father of the Bride, Spencer Tracy plays the father. Who plays the bride? Catherine Hepburn. Liz Taylor. What Russian coin is worth one hundredth of a ruble? A cent. A kopeck. Since 1884, the Louisville Slugger has been the official bat for what sport? Baseball. Yes. The name of which rodent, originally native to South America, has become a byword for any person or item used as the subject of an experiment? 
Guinea pig. Yes. The annual awards for distinguished performance on the London stage, presented by the Society of London Theatre, are named after a theatrical knight and peer of the realm. Who? Laurence Olivier. Yeah, Lord Olivier. Which London railway terminus contains Martin Jenny's statue of the former poet laureate John Betjeman, who fought to save the building from demolition in the 1960s? St Pancras? Yes, which poet, playwright and literary critic who settled in Brittle in 1914 was born in St Louis, Missouri in 1888? Mark Twain? T.S. Eliot. What bird in Edward Lear's poem lives on the hill and marries the owl and the pussycat? Peacock? The turkey. Play of the Waves is the second of the three symphonic sketches that make up a work by Debussy. What is its title? Claire de Lune. La Mer. What Italian almond biscuits, similar to macaroons, have a name that means little bitter things in English? Amaretto. Amaretti is correct. Pat, you have scored 23 points. You have only one pass. Therefore, you're the winner. <laughs> yes. Well, how close was that? Let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place, 16 points, Mary. Third place, 22 points, Mick. Second place, 23 points and six passes, Tom. First place, 23 points and one pass, Pat. And she goes through to the semi-finals. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>